Hello everyone, JRDL960 with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jack Jacksepticeye video, and it's a pretty interesting video that kind of caught my attention for a while. Um, because of the, the because of the title alone, gaming on YouTube has changed, or something like that. But I remember when filming one of my other reaction videos, he put up this video very late at night, around one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, my time. And usually, you don't see that from Jack that much. You don't see Jack posting videos this late at night. Usually, Mark does that. Mark does that stuff. Mark uploads videos at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Or something like that. Not Jack. Jack doesn't really do that. So, it was weird for him to do something like that. Especially when the charity live stream was coming up later on at that point later that day but I could tell by the video itself by his eyes he's tired <laughs> he's fucking tired half asleep half awake but I'm curious on what he why he feels that gaming on YouTube has changed I kind of disagree but I want to hear his points first before I make my decision so anyways let's get right into it so well for the ado let's react to this video shall we Hi. It's like 4.30 a.m. right now, and I can't sleep. I've been trying for the last while, and I just have so many thoughts bouncing around inside my head that I just can't sleep. Which is a recurring thing with me. Usually I, I have a hard time sleeping just because I'm thinking about stuff probably more than I should be. Um, but I've had some thoughts bouncing around in my head that I kind of want to talk about, that I've wanted to talk about for a while. Uh, I mean, nothing serious or anything, just stuff that... I, I used to do these things fairly often before, uh, I, a year or two ago, where I would just... If, if anything was in my head, I would kind of just blurt it out uh, in a video and just kind of chat to you guys, which I miss, and I, I kind of dropped the ball on that stuff for a while, and some of the community aspect of the channel kind of lacks then when you don't do that, because we don't have a, a real connection then. It's hard to connect when you're doing Let's Plays or any other type of video, so... It was another excuse to kind of do one of these types of videos. Something that I I get asked every now and then lately is if my channel is dying, or if like ever people saying stuff like, "Oh, you changed. You're so much better before. You had so much energy before." Things like that. And I mean, people are going to say stuff all the time anyway. Stuff like that to any sort of YouTuber. Yeah. Um, but one that keeps happening is. Like, is Jack Seth the guy's channel dying? And no, it's not. <laughs> Clearly. If I stopped uploading tomorrow for like a year, there would still be some residual views coming in all the time. It's it's just so funny on YouTube. It's either you're you're top of the game or you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it kind of bothers me because it seems like some people on the channel, some people who watch the videos that I do seem to care more about the numbers aspect of it more than I do. I think the biggest factor to it is that I just don't upload as much as I used to. Yeah. Because um, I used to upload two videos every yeah. day, and that was all I could talk about. That's all I could do because that was my entire schedule. My whole life revolved around getting two videos out every day to the point where it started to, like, really affect my day-to-day -day life because I didn't even have time to burn them out. groceries or anything. Oh, no, it was it July? Yeah, July. I went to L.A. last year. In yeah, July, I took out. a week off, reevaluated what I wanted to do, and kind of tried to get some of my energy back. And I came back and I decided, okay, I'm doing one video a day from now on because two videos a day was just, it was too much time. I had no time to do any other projects that I wanted to do. I had no time to even hang out with some friends that I wanted to hang out with. And if I missed a video, I get really upset with myself. So I'm just not pumping out the same quantity of videos anymore. And yeah. So obviously, like, the view count has just halved on the channel on a month-by-month -month basis. But it seems like other people then like to throw that back at the channel and then use it as an excuse of like, no, the channel's just not the same anymore because you're not getting the same views as you used to. So you've changed and you're different and you suck now. And then they just leave the channel. Which, I mean, fair. You do you. You do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to hold anybody against their will on the channel or anything like that. But it's just silly. It's completely silly to think, to associate the numbers on the channel with yeah. the quality of what's happening on the channel. With any YouTube channel, not just mine. And I've seen it happen time and again with lots of YouTubers. Um, 
But in, in my own experience, it's just, I just don't upload the same amount anymore. And will I ever go back to two videos a day? Maybe. If I can really make it sustainable and if I can do it, it probably won't be like a everyday thing. Just whenever, whenever I can. On occasion, can, like he know. has But lately, also, for... something that I've been sitting on and I haven't given my thoughts on at all yet was how gaming on YouTube in general has just changed a lot. It's, it's not exactly a secret at this point that gaming is kind of dying on YouTube. Well, let me rephrase that. Certain types of gaming on YouTube is dying. Like, huge variety gaming seems to be dying. There, there's been lots of channels out there, myself included, who are, are more variety gamers, where we play a lot of different types of games. I don't just sit on one game. Sometimes I do, and I, I play that out, and I get to the end of it. But by and large, the channel is a, it has a huge variety of games yeah, going on all the time. Unique. I don't just play one game makes it fresh. or two games and do videos on that. But it seems like that type of YouTube gaming is taking a huge hit for lots of different reasons. The way YouTube operates now is that because of stuff like advertisers pulling out and then coming back and being a little more wary about stuff... There's self-rating on your videos now. There's a lot of policies that you can see. There's different levels of how much swearing is in your videos, how much violence is in your videos, how much you deal with children in your videos, how much you deal with, like, war and crime and news type of stuff. So there's a lot of different things that you need to take into consideration for YouTube these days. And I, I have a self-rating system on my channel. A lot of YouTubers do. And I think it will probably roll out to everybody eventually, where before I upload a video... Instead of YouTube picking what is going to be monetizable or demonetizable, I go in and I select the headings. I can select, oh, this video has violence in it, but it's video game violence. And then there's different tiers of what kind of violence it is. Like if it's real violence, got to do with news stories, or if there's swearing in the videos, if there's light swearing, if there's excessive swearing, if there's bleeps, all that kind of good stuff. So I have to check those boxes before I upload a video, and then somebody manually reviews it and then says, okay, that's good good job, or no, you did this wrong, it's actually this, and then it's demonetized or it's monetized. So there's that aspect to take into consideration, but because of that, gaming takes a huge hit, because gaming is, it's, it's so varied, at, first of all, it's so diverse, and there's so many different levels of what you can do in gaming so a lot of a lot of games by and large are violent there's a lot of violent yeah. video games out there there's a lot of, a lot blood, of shooters a lot of swearing in video games and gamers have a bad rap of swearing more than other types of youtubers because gamer moments <laughs> so because of these Rage. systems being in place variety gaming has kind of died off because it's harder to guess what's going to work if if you upload a like me personally, I upload like, let's say seven videos a week, and if I do all games, it's usually seven different games in a week, or five different games in a week, and some of those will get demonetized and some won't, because some games are just more palatable to advertisers, so because of that, YouTubers are just sick of getting demonetized, they don't want to get claimed, they don't want to get demonetized, they want the videos to go out, hit everybody, get views, earn the money that it should, instead of being hammered by all these other factors. So if you're uploading a, a lot of variety of games, that's harder to do, because it's so undetermined if it's going to get demonetized or not. You're kind of shooting in the dark, hoping that this stuff will work. You don't know if your audience will like it. You don't know if advertisers will like it. You don't know if YouTube will push it. There's so many different factors going on that people are kind of finding their own laneway and then figuring out what games work best and just sticking to those. And that's why you'll see something like, well, Fortnite's just popular anyway, but something like Fortnite and Minecraft, those types of games are very palatable to advertisers. They're hugely popular. Lots of people want to play those games. Lots of people want to watch those games. Um, so in the YouTube ecosystem, those games are probably bigger than they've ever been. But the variety side of gaming has kind of died off like because it's just harder to do. It's harder to figure out what audiences want. It's harder to figure out what YouTube wants. It's harder to figure out what's going to get monetized. It's hard to figure out what advertisers want. There's all these other factors that a lot of YouTubers now are like, well, why bother? Why would I do that when I can just play lots of Fortnite videos and they all do well? I'm just using this in a, I as am an wild example. Cat. I have nothing against Fortnite <laughs> YouTubers. Go out and make whatever videos you want. It's just, it's a, it's a good example for what I'm trying to say. But not only do you have these factors to take into consideration now, but titles and thumbnails on YouTube seem to matter now more than they ever have because they brought in the system 
a while back. It's it's been on for a long time in beta and everything, but there's something called click through rate now, which determines how many people look at your thumbnail, then look at your title, and then click on the video, and how long they watch the video for after that. So that that metric is more important on YouTube now than it's ever been. So in that click regard, bait. people are now thinking click stronger bait. about their thumbnails, stronger about their titles. So that's why you'll see a lot of YouTubers now, Clickbait. Uh, even myself included, you kind of have to change things up to keep up with YouTube's adaption. Um, before it was, the, the standard practice was like, you, you do an episode of a game, if it's a, if it's a different part of a game, let's say I'm doing Resident Evil 2 earlier in the year, and it's like, Leon did what? Question mark? All in caps, and then it's like Resident Evil 2 part 5. That was like the standard practice, that's the standard title. But now people are trying to change it up and figure out different ways of making it more... Just the title reading better, the thumbnail looking better, stuff being easier on the eye, stuff that's kind of more clickable. Um, so people are just adapting to the way YouTube is going. And that's, that's kind of the way YouTube gaming is right now. A lot of people are trying to figure out, okay, what games are going to work for me? What games are actually going to make my audience happy? What games are actually fun to play? And there's these lane ways that people are trying to figure out and then they park in that lane way. It's not so much a case now where you have all these permutations of ideas and you have all these other games to play for them. Now you kind of have to do it where you have all these ideas for videos, but you kind of have to pick certain games to do them in. Because they, that just works so much better on YouTube these days. So gaming as a whole is probably larger than it's been on YouTube in a long time. Just because Fortnite has been such a colossal behemoth of a game on YouTube in general. The amount of hours people watch Fortnite on YouTube, the yep. entire gaming trending tab, is kind of just Fortnite and Minecraft most times. Um, and it's always, it's always kind of nice to see stuff kind of break it up like a, a Mario Maker or somebody doing some obscure game that I've never heard of. And then it's like, oh, cool. It's good to see that kind of stuff still coming out. But at the same time, if, if gaming YouTubers are changing the way they're doing things, if they're playing certain games a little more than others, if they're kind of doing things a little differently than they used to, don't be too hard on them. It's, it's a weird ecosystem right now, and people are kind of just trying to adapt as best they can and still just trying to do YouTube, have fun, play some video games, keep it as their job, keep their sustainability going. So these changes have been happening more and more over the last year. And again, it's stuff that's kind of been going on in my head, and other people have kind of done videos on it and talked a little bit about it. But because we don't have concrete information on anything because youtube aren't going to tell us anything exactly which i also get they can't give over the keys to the kingdom and tell us no oh, this is happening this blah 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 because then everyone will go oh okay i'll just do this then and try and game the system and youtube's ever evolving and ever adapting and the algorithm's always changing to what audiences want and audiences don't always know what they want so no no one's ever going to figure it out but i just haven't really talked about it before because i didn't have concrete information all of this stuff is anecdotal all of this stuff is just going through like my own experience what i see people do what i see on youtube in general so i could be completely wrong <laughs> um but i think it's worth discussing at the least um and try and figure out how to adapt with that and how to how to keep stuff going how to keep youtube fun how to keep doing games in general um, I still do a lot of games on the channel anyway, uh, but I remember in like 2016, you could upload any game you wanted. You could upload yeah. any single game. As long as you were having fun, YouTube would push it and people would watch it. And I'm not trying to say um, I wish things were just easier and you didn't have to work as hard to do YouTube. I, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm just making observations. Um, and I'm not even talking just about my own channel personally. I'm just fascinated by this stuff watching how different trends mold and weave and change and how it seems like every six months now YouTube goes through a shift. Before it was like every two years a different trend would come out. For like 2015, 16, kind of 17, gaming was like the huge big thing. And then vlogs became a huge thing and then commentary channels became a huge thing and now gaming's kind of coming back in a little bit but also certain parts of it are dropping off. So I just think all of this stuff is, is really neat to look into and talk about. But to springboard off of that, just to kind of talk about myself personally, that's why you'll see some things like doing more like funniest home videos and doing other things like looking at the memes that you guys make of me and trying to interact with you and do IRL stuff more because gaming is just, it's not what it used to be. And honestly doing it for this long, 
I, I just like doing other things at the same time. So that's why I've been trying to do more IRL yeah, change stuff. It up. But because YouTube kind of likes this straight consistency and stuff that's reliable, doing a whole bunch of variety on a channel, it's just kind of harder to do now. So doing IRL stuff and then doing gaming and then doing a bunch of different types of games and doing a bunch of different types of series, it's just a, it's a harder sell for YouTube these days. So people are kind of picking just what works and then doubling down on that and just hammering into it and just making as many videos on that type of stuff as they can. Again, no judgment. I'm just observing. Isn't it weird that I even have to kind of say that? Because I, I know some people are going to say that I'm trying to call stuff out. It's not what this video is at all. I just couldn't sleep and I have thoughts in my head and now I'm vomiting them onto a camera. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I made any points. But <laughs> anyway, Probably. I'll leave this video here and I'm going to try and go back to sleep. But also, um, charity live stream tomorrow, Saturday. We're raising money for the Environmental Defense Fund. Um, trying to save the planet, trying to do some good, trying to counteract some of the horrible changes that have been happening in the world climate oceans plastic all that kind of stuff so if you want to help out and come along please share the stream with as many people as you can we're going to be starting at like 3 p.m my time on saturday tomorrow today whatever time it is for you so please come by please try and help out as much as you can we have an exclusive pin to give away this time as well to give away to sell for the charity the proceeds will be going towards the charity as well um but I hope to see you there, and I hope that I can sleep soon. I'll, I'll go to bed now and I'll be like, shit, did I even say anything proper? Did I? And I'll be thinking about all the things I could have said that I didn't say that I was going to say before, and then I just forgot. But oopsie floopsie. I hope <laughs> this was enjoyable to watch, at least, anyway. But I'll see you guys at the stream. Okay, good night. Well, that was a fascinating conversation to hear. And of course, it obviously involves YouTube's changes and its policies and stuff. And there's no, there's no, no shit with that. But I did hear that there's this, like this new thing that Mark mentioned this new thing too that we now have to check if it's monetizing, for, like if it's advertiser friendly. And they, we have to check certain things out. And then we have to send it to them. They manually check it. And they say, yes, good, or no, this is this and this, demonetized, whatever. And I kind of find that kind of stupid, to be honest. Like, what's the point of having, like, us check it out? Like, I don't know. It's kind of stupid. But to be honest, gaming, I think also... Gaming itself on YouTube is just getting oversaturated with specific games. Gaming's doing great on YouTube, granted, yes, but you're having certain games oversaturating the, ch the, the site. Examples, Fortnite and Minecraft. Well, now Minecraft all of a sudden, but mostly Fortnite. Fortnite has been all over YouTube for the last year. Even after a year and a half, this game is still, like, number one trending on YouTube in gaming. And it's crazy that now, like... Again, like, YouTube just, its system just doesn't focus on, like, it's only, excuse me, focusing on specific games, like the hot, like, the most popular games right now. And Fortnite is one of them, and Minecraft is one of them. But you gotta really, you, they should have a category, for, like, categories for, like, types of games. Like, if they want to talk about, like, Battle Royale games, Fortnite. Like, you can just go and do specific, like, section genres. Specific game genres. And I think that's how YouTube should at be. Like, if you want to look up, like, Let's Plays or playthroughs of your favorite games, like, hence, like, if you wanted to look up a Let's Play of, like, a game like Super Metroid, you go search the type of game it is. And you search it, and then you can find it. 
Like, you could probably find, like, something kind of like how Twitch is, in a, in a sense. Like, that's how I feel like how YouTube gaming should be. Like, if you want to check out, like, first-person shooters like Call of Duty or other games like Battlefield or whatever, like, like if you want to check out games like those, you go there. Like, that, that or if you want to check out, like, any, like, fighting games, like Mortal Kombat or Super Smash Brothers or Street Fighter or anything like that, or J Injustice or Marvel vs. Capcom, like, if you want to check out those types of games, you go there. Like, that's how I think YouTube should be. Like, you have to... It's got to be more organized. I think, like, YouTube's, like, like you know... The videos that come up suggested have to be more and more organized and not just the shuffled mess that it is. That's how I feel what YouTube's gaming should be. And it's crazy that me, myself, I want to really expand with different types of games. And I've always been playing just Call of Duty games for most of my channel most of my my channel's career for the last seven years for the last almost eight years I've been doing mostly just that and I've been mostly just playing first person shooter games and they don't do well and I and I know I can't really I really don't care about numbers and I'm not really giving a shit about numbers but I kinda as if as Jack would say I kinda observe it I observe and I see that no one really watches it. But they mostly watch this and videos like these. And it's like, alright, just do what works. And again, that's kind of like how what Jack said. Like, they have to go with what works. And the thumbnails and then the titles, it's clickbait. And I am really against clickbait. I'm one of those types of people that are really, really against clickbait stuff. Like, clickbait thumbnails and clickbait video titles, I'm against that. And that's what, I guess, what now is the big thing. It's just clickbait. And it's in Fortnite, it's in Moink, it's in any types of videos. But I feel like that's what, I think, like, YouTube should be more organized. And more, like, organized by, like, you know, I don't know how to word it, but just, I hope you understand what I mean by what I say there, because probably confusing the hell out of people right this but I hope you get what I mean like I want YouTube to be more organized with certain like types of videos if you want to look up vlogs look up vlogs if you want to like if like it has like a certain like tab that you can like click on that scroll that has all the types of videos you want to see like vlogs gaming stuff like that and if you want to go to gaming there's another tab that goes to like specific types of games like indie fps battle royale fighting action like stuff like that like you, you want it to be more organized like that and that's how i feel like youtube should be and youtube should not be really that pc Politically correct because I feel like that's also another factor to this whole YouTube thing and how YouTube now is changing with the whole monetization stuff. It's really started back in 2017 with the whole ad apocalypse where everybody pulled out because and stuff like that, and you know, because apparently there was advertisements on suicide footage like. It's, yeah, because it's because that YouTube is run by a fucking, mo a fucking, you know, algorithm. It's run by an algorithm. No actual human runs that website. And I get that because you got video, like a man, many, many videos being uploaded every second. Boom, there's another 10 million videos going up. Like, you, I know because of that, and I get why you can't check manually check every single video that gets posted on YouTube every day. It would be stressful because you'll be like ten thousand years behind, like on many other videos. There's billions of videos on YouTube right now, and I get that. 
but I feel like YouTube should be more organized on what videos appear in your feed. Like, they should be more organized on how specific types of videos that you're interested in. If you're, like, interested into, like, vlogs, if you're interested into, like, gaming videos, or any unboxing videos, or any reaction videos, I, I just feel like that vi certain video genres have to be or more organized. That's how I feel what YouTube should be, and I kind of agree with Jack on certain points. And I think it's also the whole saturation of certain games that's flooding the whole just gaming because they're too lazy to just have just to put another freaking little tab that clicks down and has a whole playlist of whole like types of jo gaming genres. Instead, you just have gaming and then Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. Like you got all that. And they just don't have it or organized a lot more. And just put Fortnite in a specific play, like, gaming genre and have it more organized. <sighs> they just, just shove gaming into, shove everything gaming in one thing. And expect it to do well. And it's just mostly just Fortnite or Minecraft now. That's the thing that's confusing the heck out of me now. Now, all of a sudden, Minecraft is now the most played thing right now. Minecraft has been obscure in obscurity for the last couple of years. Granted, the game is so popular for the last... It's been... It's over 10 years old. I get that. But why all of a sudden now is everybody started playing the game? Vanoss and everybody else. Jack now. Like, why all of a sudden everybody start playing Minecraft? Like, why? PewDiePie? Like, like, why did all of a sudden now everybody start playing Minecraft? Like, what? Was there something added to the game that made everybody want to play it again? Or was it just because for shits and giggles? For click, for views? Or just to be part of the whole change in the, al of the YouTube's algorithm? Like, is it that? I don't know. But that was a really interesting video, and I remember just thinking to myself, I think just YouTube's gaming is just not organized well. I think the whole site is not organized well. I might be 100% wrong, and I just don't, because it's just, I don't really look, but just based on, I'm just going to look, go onto the, my YouTube feed right now, Excuse me. <clears throat> and mostly it's just... Well, based on what I've watched, it shows. But... Go to trending. Let me go to trending. Like... It's nothing but just other stuff... Yeah, Jack is up there in the trending. He's trending right now with the whole playing Minecraft for the first time video, which I kind of think is bullshit. I don't think he's... It's not the first time he's played Fortnite. Fortnite. Minecraft. Son of a gun. That's what happens when you play... When you say Fortnite so many times. Look at, um... Here's another channel that I feel like has kind of suffered because of the whole thing with Fortnite. I am Wildcat. Remember him? Well, he's still popular, no, regardless. But ever since Fortnite has become huge, he's been mostly just playing that and not playing like GTA or G Gary's Mod or any type of other game. He's just mostly playing Fortnite. He's now just a Fortnite YouTuber. And that has really turned off a lot of his fans because... He's just playing just one game, and it's so funny. He has he has a he was quoted in one of his videos saying that he wanted to not just post just GTA or just the same game over and over again. He wanted to change like just to be spice of the variety. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah. 
Yeah, that changed a lot with him. But on occasion, he plays other games like Scribilio or GTA maybe or other games, Prop Hunt or whatever. He he plays other games at some from time to time, but he's mostly just doing Fortnite stuff. And I just find that a little strange. Like, and I feel like that's probably I think it's because of YouTube's like thing with the whole changing the and going with the flow, going with the system and stuff. I think that's probably it's because of that. And I think also I think this whole change in the monetization policy with the whole you have to have over 4,000 view, view, like hours of watch time in the last 12 months and having over 1,000 subscribers to even be able to be enabled to have monetization I think that actually actually screwed over a lot of people like myself and trying to make it on YouTube because it's because of people who abuse it and just don't know how to do it pr correct properly. Hence, Logan Paul, which is probably the reason why that who is the reason why that actually happened. Because he just was too stupid to f edit out a dead body in the forest, that caused the whole uproar and change in the whole monetization world. Screwing me and a bunch of others over. And I had to fight and have to scratch and claw my way back. And it took me a year, but I made it back. Because I love doing stuff like this. And I don't, I gotta always, like, whenever I'm having a comfortable sailing thing, like a huge roadblock comes in and just blocks me from getting, climbing up higher. Every time. And it's just frustrating. But, again, going back to the whole vi how many videos you post a day thing. He's another one, too, that has changed from doing two videos a day to, th to just one. Mark, as well, has done that, too. Mark has actually done that, too, now. Mark, I think, used to post at least two to three videos a day. And Jack used to post two videos a day. And ever since 2018, both, both Mark and Jack have started just posting one video a day. And I think that's just, honestly smart and I'm surprised they didn't think about it at first <laughs> because it could explain why like Jet Mark would have been able to get Who Killed Markiplier a lot faster it could explain why he had to take a break from YouTube when Mark had to take a break from YouTube because again he was burning himself out because he was just doing two, he was posting so many videos a day Same thing with Jack, and look at what happened last year with Jack. He had to take that one week off to recharge and re-energize himself, try to find who he is, and he decided one video a day. And he said maybe, like he, if he wanted to go, if he would, if he would go back to doing two videos a day, and he said maybe. But he's like he does. I think it's just on occasion, like today. At the time I'm recording this, on July 29th, he posted two videos. He played, he posted the Minecraft video, and then he posted the other one with the kindergarten stuff. The, uh, whatever that kindergarten game that you just posted. Like, on occasion, and then on, if you want to go back, the last time he actually did that was back in May, when he did the Observation series. He would post, like, something else, and then later post Observation. Five Nights at Freddy's VR, Observation. Like, he, he, it's occasional when he posts two videos a day. And I think it's fair that if he does that and not s stress himself out by posting, like, making pretty much videos every day to make sure that you get two videos a, up a day. And I think it's smart if you just do one video a day because why? Because it gives you a lot more time on your own personal time gives you more time to hang out with your friends or just work on other things you want to do. That's why I've been doing that for the last 
ever since 2017, I've been doing just one video a day because I think if one video, like, if I just post one video, that's enough. One video is enough. And one video a day is enough. That's how I always have been. Like, that's, one video is enough and it just gives you time to do more. Well, back in 2017, I was still new to that, and I wasn't really <laughs> great at keeping up, keeping track, and being ahead. I usually would be recording the night before the video would have to go up. <laughs> like, I would be waiting that long to do that. Like, But now I've gotten a lot better at that. And I think the first test of me trying to really be ahead with the schedule of my work, my YouTube schedule, is when I had to go on the cruise. And I had to film a bunch of videos for that week while I was gone. So I posted those. Like, that was a challenge, but I was able to pull that off. But still, it was something the, that I wasn't really used to doing that month, that crazily. I would usually just get two, three videos ahead, and that's it. Now I'm kind of like seven to eight videos ahead. And it's insane to think about when, and it, the the only like disadvantage to it is having like bigger video, like a big video coming, being put up, and then getting bombarded with comments every single video to react to it, or just to see it. Like, you know, like, stuff like that. That's what's... Uh, th that's the only disadvantage to being way out of your schedule. Because it could just... Because you, because with me, I want to keep continuity going. Because I don't want to have a video where my hair is longer. And then the next... Vi and then if I have to do an abrupt video because Mark posted another Try Not To Laugh video or something. I don't... And I had just gotten a haircut... I don't want to just post it then, like, in sandwich it in between me having long hair, longer hair, and me with the haircut. Like, that, I can't, I don't want to do that, and I want to be consistent with videos and not randomly have short hair, like, have long hair in one video, and then the next I have short hair, and then the next video I have long hair again. I don't want that. I don't want to be that, so... That's how I want to be, and I just don't want to mix it up, and really, that, that's all. So, I think I've rambled, and I've been debating about it for for long enough. But I honestly want to know what your thoughts are on the in the comments down below. Do you think that gaming video, like any video types of videos, should be more well organized, like how I want, how I pr proposed it to be, and how I want it to be? Let me know in the comments down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction and discussion about this topic. I think it was an interesting topic. So if you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenact with the cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to also check out my Tumblr, it's in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.